Hey everybody, it's Lisa and it's Friday and that means it's time for Friday Reads. Um, I also promised you guys earlier in the week a wrap up, I guess, of sorts of Y'all Fest. But there isn't really much else for me to cover about Y'all Fest. The live blog kind of did it all. Um, for those of you who haven't seen um, the live blog video, which a lot of you have, like y'all apparently really like live blogs. So maybe we'll try that again one day if I do something interesting. We'll see. Um... But for those of you who have not seen the live blog, um, I went to Y'all Fest last weekend, which is a young adult book festival held in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, I think this was the third or fourth year that um, it's actually been held. It's not a very old festival, but it's still really, really good. Um, there are all types of author signings and all types of industry talks and all types of author talks, um, storytelling rounds, all types of fun stuff. And the best part about it is that it's all mostly free like you got to pay your clearly unless you have magical people to stay with um and can find free parking which is basically impossible in charleston let me tell you what and we paid like 16 dollars for parking <sighs> it was terrible but it's all basically free there are a few ticketed events like the keynote speaker or yeah the keynote speaker was a ticketed event the storytelling round was a ticketed event and i think there was one more ticketed event with Veronica Roth I want to say but really for every ticketed event there were seven or eight free events so like not having money isn't really an issue because I'm I'm poor as Joe's turkey over here okay like I'm I am Charlie Brown's Christmas tree <laughs> and I went and I still enjoyed myself I met Marie Lou who signed a book for me and I met um Danielle Page who also signed a book for me it was a grand old time and I made friends I made friends go to festivals guys you'll make friends um, yeah I met a I, this is gonna sound like I'm trying to chat this woman up okay but I met a lady <laughs> I met a lady in Marie Lou, Marie Lou's line because we were standing next to each other in line for three hours and we just kind of got to talking and now like we have each other's emails we have each other's phone numbers and stuff um she's writing a trilogy which is awesome and like I can't even imagine the dedication and sheer amount of foresight and planning and storytelling ability it takes to wrap together more than one book like I good for you girl good for you but that's really it um y'all fest also live streams their their seminars and author talks and publishing talks and all that stuff so if you couldn't make it there are probably like archived versions of that on their website if there are there will be a link down in the box but really that's it i would encourage all of you to go to these types of things if there are any near you and if it is at all within your power i had never gone before this was my first festival really of any sort since i went to like warp tour when i was a freshman in high school which those were dark days and we're not going to talk about them but yeah go be amongst your people it's fun i promise like if you can go and not have fun then i don't really know what to say about you you live a sad life and I just, I, I, I don't know. But on to Friday Reads. Friday Reads was originally a Twitter hashtag which was brought over to BookTube by someone whose name I cannot remember but whose link will be down in the box. I have been reading the same book since before Y'all Fest, believe it or not. You can probably believe it because I am terrible. <laughs> um, and that book is The Young Leaks by Marie Lu. This is actually the book that I had signed by Marie Lu at Y'all Fest because don't shoot me for this. I have never actually read any other Marie Lu books. I have not read Divergent Allegiant or whatever the other one is called. I don't like dystopian books. I've said this before. Y'all know this. Um, but yeah, that's it. I actually, if I can get the thing to hold open, I'll show you her signature. Yay. Marie Lu signed my book because, and she's adorable, and Danielle Page is adorable, and Danielle Page followed me on Twitter, and Marie Lu told me she liked my phone mono, and that was really fast, but I don't care because they're awesome, and I love them. I love them. But that's it. I'm about a hundred, let's see, I just read a few pages here while I was waiting on my camera to turn on. Um, I read, I'm on page 100 and, I'm on page 116 out of 355 pages. Hopefully I can get this read and finished up this weekend. Um, this is the time of year that gets kind of crazy in my house from November 1st to basically New Year's it's nuts because we're into the holidays in a very big way <laughs> and my mom and my sister like divided our house up 
into rooms and kind of like assigned rooms like split the rooms up amongst the three of us and we have to decorate our respective rooms so i have to spend the weekend looking well not have to because it's gonna be fun like i actually live for this stuff i'm probably gonna spend most of the weekend running around looking for ways to decorate my house for christmas sorry i'm not sorry if you have read this book don't spoil me or i will find you but let me know if you liked it and or if or if you didn't like it or if you are a different tour or if you don't know how you feel let me know what you're reading this week are you or this weekend um are you reading this are you reading something else what are you doing i don't know but i would like to in the meantime you can find me on all my other social medias i can be found on tumblr twitter instagram um i got a pinterest last week and that's fun <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty much anywhere you could you I don't I don't even know where else to tell you to find me because I have a lot of social media accounts okay I'm a child of the late 80s and early 90s but honestly just the 90s like I was born at the end of 89 it doesn't even I'm rambling I'll see you guys in my next video bye